Wendy Williams deals with the 13-year relationship that her ex-husband Kevin Hunter had with his girlfriend Sharina Hudson. But the birth of her son, Kevin Hunter Jr., was a good thing that came out of their connection. Wendy had numerous unsuccessful pregnancies before she finally gave birth to her now 20-year-old son, whom she refers to as her miracle kid. Watch to learn what went wrong in their relationship after Wendy Williams' son threatened to leave his mother. What I discovered this weekend is my son doesn't like me anymore. Oh. You know how it is. I know what it is. I don't have my period. Kevin, I, I've discovered, I discovered this a while ago, but the ball just got smacked home this weekend. You know, he's all into his father. You know how 13-year-olds are. I was the same way when I was 13, but it is breaking my heart. He says things to me like, why are you so pissed? And, but, but he'll say, why are you so pissed? The controversial talk show host has been very open and honest about her personal life, especially when it comes to her son. Wendy has always made it clear that no matter what her son is going through, she will always be there for him. According to a source close to the family, Wendy's relationship with Kevin Jr. had been strained. He gave her two choices and said he would leave her life unless she changed. During a Hot Topic segment, Wendy discussed Madonna's relationship with her son Rocco. At the time of the live taping, Wendy expressed her admiration for Madonna and Rocco's relationship, noting that she had recently had the impression that her son no longer liked her. However, a few weeks later, Wendy claimed that her relationship with her son had improved. She claimed that after Kevin Jr. saw his mother crying on TV, he became more aware of what he was doing. He was in a such bad state that Wendy had to send him out to seek assistance. The most significant and life-altering event that occurred to the Hunter family this summer was that our son was exposed to synthetic marijuana by a loved one. Wendy claims that Kevin Jr. smoked marijuana with a vape pen, but didn't know that what he was smoking was a synthetic drug called K2 Banks had gotten so bad in the family that Wendy and her ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, stepped in as soon as they saw their son's behavior change in a significant way. He turned to look at her as she gushed. It's one of those pants where you don't see the smoke and you don't smell anything, adding, I was duped and my kid had been smoking this mess, and he got turned out to the point that he went off the rail for a moment. She didn't say where Kevin Jr. was taken to recover from his drug addiction, but sources claim it was a treatment facility for those who have battled addiction in 2018. The former radio anchor admitted to having a drug problem to entertainment tonight, saying that she needed co to get through her lengthy radio career before getting her daytime talk program. Williams' issues with her family had been in the press for a while, and it appeared that her show's audience enjoyed the family drama just as much. Fans of Wendy in 2022 claimed that Kevin Jr. had taken care of his mother's recovery in sunny Florida after she was spotted in a wheelchair all over New York City in the fall of 2021. Shadow and Axe claimed that there were rumors that she wouldn't let her son into her home and that her husband was cheating on her. Because of her Graves' illness, lymphedema, and usage, Wendy missed the entirety of her final season on The Wendy Williams Show. The TV personality had a few public incidents after she returned to New York. She was in treatment because she misused and dangerously abused alcohol without using any other substances. Many doctors told her that if you drink you'll die, but she didn't listen to them. People who knew Wendy also said that she did well in Florida, where she was with family and friends, even though she had said before that she was sober. Demar Mercury, the company that has produced Wendy for a long time, announced the end of the show early this summer. Even while Wendy has claimed that some of her planned podcast episodes have already been recorded, no one is certain of that. Sherry Shepard, who frequently serves as a substitute presenter, took over at that time. We're happy to report that Wendy is at home and improving after spending time in a wellness center since August. Williams is looking forward to the road ahead in releasing all of her projects, as Anetti said. Williams also sent a message to her fans through Zanati. Thank you to my fans for your love support and many prayers I appreciate it.
When asked at the time about her plans for a dramatic comeback for the Wendy Experience podcast, Anetti stated that she is taking some time to focus on her health and wellness. Since the Wendy Williams show ended, she added, William is being treated by a group of some of the top medical professionals in the world. Williams had been the subject of paparazzi attention and speculations for months since her health appeared to be deteriorating, and she displayed several unsettling behaviors that were captured on video, including slurred speech, weird comments, and a noticeably unwell appearance. Williams has additionally been charged with using narcotics and alcohol. Sherry Shepard, who now hosts her talk show with many of the same people that worked on The Wendy Williams Show, has replaced Williams in The Wendy Williams time slot on television. In a new video regarding the former talk host Wendy Williams' brother makes a surprising claim about her connection with her son, Shepard, who was the first guest host when Williams wasn't on her show and became the favorite to take over the show permanently. According to Tommy Williams, the Jasmine brand says the Williams refused to allow her son, Kevin Jr., access to her penthouse residence. Kevin Jr. flew to New York on his mother's birthday to spend time with her, but Wendy wouldn't let him in. Tommy claimed that while her birthday should be a happy occasion for the whole family, it's not a happy occasion for everyone inside Wendy's head. He also called Williams out, claiming that Williams was cruel. He also claimed that he spent time with Kevin Jr. while Williams refused, claiming that her son is up there to spend time with his mother, which could be very important if she opens the door at this. Very moment, my nephew is attempting to enter to see his mother. When he was with me yesterday, we discussed the trip and laughed and smiled. I was looking forward to him meeting Williams. And now, as we wait to visit Wendy's mother at the pearly gates, the crucial moment has arrived. Tommy didn't like how Williams has been publicly discussing physical intimacy in recent interviews or how she appeared to have behaved in the past in secret, dragging everyone along, including her son, who called her selfish. Even though he disagrees with her, he said he still cares about her. This is a big change from how he talked about Williams just a few weeks ago in early July in the first video. He talked about his sister, saying the people in her camp were taking advantage of her. The situation is that she needs to get away from people who are hurting her, he said in a video. The fact that Wendy has always been selfish, that much is clear, back and forth way before Wendy. But if you want some next level drama, you gotta check our next video.